<coughs> oh, Sanai. Where is he, Sanai? Where's Martin? Babs, he's not here. He saw how ugly your face has become. The blood, the scarring. It scared him. No, he can't mean it. It can't be. He hasn't visited you once yet, Babs. Not since the accident. So, Martin scared of my face. Now that I'm ugly, I'll show him something to be scared of. Thank you so much for 300 subscribers, just in time for our RimWorld Part 3 video. Three three threes all over the place. And also we have three colonists in our group right now, so that is the magic number. I would like to thank one David Hale for their buy me a coffee link usage. There, that does say David, if you can believe it. Thank you so much for the coffee. There's my visual evidence of me following through with the coffee purchase. <laughs> I love all of the support that I received and like I'm starting to recognize names in like comment sections. Usually I'm not that great at that, but there are names that like, oh yeah dog, I remember you from like X many videos back. Like you, you were a real one for that. As far as like the modding thing goes, I've been getting so many comments about mods and downloading mods and I'm honestly really conflicted on whether to do it or not just because I'm okay with working around some of the game's restrictions. It doesn't really like make the game any worse for me. Also, I'm not a fucking pussy. But I just wanted to give the warmest, happiest thank you for all 300 of you. It's so cool that you're here. I hope you stick around for even longer to see me play some more RimWorld and some more games in general. I mentioned in the comment section in my first video, I believe, I'm thinking about in the future doing like a little winter time, the long dark little series, maybe some prison architect, planet zoo. I don't know. I, I think I would like to play something with a little bit more like story to it or like levels. I think I want levels next. I'll have to think about this one, but yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye. All right, so welcome back. First things first, I think that in this part, we really need to address our low food situation. Apparently this says we have one day worth of food in our storage, which honestly, they are definitely right about that. We also have a cute little cat to feed. We've got rice just like sitting on the stove, just sitting there. So a proper food source is going to be very important. Probably going to use this space here as some indoor farming area. So year round, that can be a good farming location, even in the winter time. I think this is still our wolf meat. Yes, which we will have for breakfast. Other than that, I think we want a prisoner's quarters Hopefully we can move these guys out of this common room and into their personal bedrooms so that we can kind of expand this whole area into like a common area work zone, I think. Maybe even separate like a little kitchen and research area. Really get this place turning into an actual base. Just good things to come all around. So this is the farming episode. This is the prison episode. <laughs> Hopefully, actually, I would like to capture somebody and try to start converting them into being one of our own colonists. But if we could get an artist in here, if we could get some more miners, um, <laughs> that would be really great for us. We really need more manpower. Babs can only do so much, so let's get this thing going. Babs is the first one up in the morning, unsurprisingly, and getting straight to work. Martin is now fully healed and getting straight back on 
his researching grind so we can start getting that geothermal energy from the steam geyser. Spike is awake, wandering. That's all Spike needs to do, you know? He's just really here for morale. This is way too far for us to go to get steel. I think that we're gonna get Martin to come and mine some more so that Babs doesn't have to keep walking so far and getting herself in danger with any wolves or wildlife. So this is steel here, let's go like that. We also have some over here, which is not as far. Maybe we can even kill this turtle, more turtle soup, Sanai. Let's merc. Maybe we can even just melee attack him with our fists. I mean, a turtle's not gonna attack us back, right? You know what? Fire at this stupid turtle. Whoa! I think they ricocheted off his shell. His little sound is so pathetic. But we really do need the shooting uh, for like target practice, to be honest, because Sanai still kind of fucking sucks. Yeah, she's sh shooting level eight and she still sucks, so. Oh. Don't eat the raw meat. Now his stomach hurts. Yeah, he ate raw food, so he's in a bad mood and he's chemically starved, so. Who insulted him? I've been directly insulted. And that expires in 1.9 days? Sanai called Martin a jaguar. When we eventually convert this whole area into a workroom, I think that I would like to save our stone blocks for that, just so that like the floors have like a beauty level. And something that I didn't really get into in any of the past parts yet, but like briefly mentioned, was the whole like beauty mechanic in the game. Basically, if your colonists are in a room that is beautiful and every object has like positive, negative, or neutral beauty points. If it's a beautiful room, they will have like a positive mood impact. And if it's an ugly room, then it'll have a negative mood impact. And the better their mood is, the better they will work. Um, the happier they'll be, the less likely they'll be to go on like a mental break. So it actually is like pretty important. And that's why things like art are important in this game too. Things like these flower pots really help out. And right now our floors are covered in blood and dirt, cat shit, and like scrap metal. Once we clean that up, our little guys will be feeling a lot better. So let's actually see if Sanai has any kind of effect. Yeah, see an ugly environment doesn't like negative 10 points. We do not want that. At least her expectations are low, but like, it's not looking good. We could use another researcher too, just because Martin, he, he's our miner right now. So we can't have someone researching 24 seven, which I would like. I would love to be able to unlock some of this stuff. Eh, honestly, everything here, we, we've hardly done anything. The battery is like step one to all of our researching and they need warm clothes. Everybody does. It's not that cold out, it's literally summertime. The 6th of Juggist, come on. We got any more little animals that we can hunt? You have a turkey and a boom rat. She's playing horseshoes? It's fucking draft. This thing's fast. Really needs Sanai to get on some drugs or something. Turkey's cornering itself. Shooting level nine now. I saw that upgrade. Wait, pause. One of the moons of this planet has orbited in front of the sun. An eclipse has begun. Uh, not a problem. These fucking turkeys are gonna be the death of us, I swear to god. Oh my god, it's so bad. We are going to stand right here as this turkey is bleeding out. Oh my God. There we go, oh my fucking God. A group of pirates from the extreme hawks have arrived nearby. They will prepare for a while, then attack, prepare defense or attack them preemptively. Just one guy. Arison, he's a researcher with a knife. He is incapable of artistic. 
He's good at melee though and intellectual, so maybe we could get him onto researching when Martin mines and crafts. Let's recruit and go here. Right now he's going up. Oh, well, there's nowhere for him to go up. Who's a minor break risk? Martin is? Too bad. We have a mad alpaca? Okay, so he's over here. He's honestly, like, not a big deal. We should probably kill these alpacas anyway. And they can't even see us, so I don't think that they will even know that we're here. Honestly, Martin, go ahead and shoot. We don't want to kill him. We really don't. Babs? Martin's kind of a good shot. He got him at least once. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. How good at melee is he again? Nine. What is Babs at? Oh my god, her eye! Four! Um, actually, uh, maybe let's get the fuck out of here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It looks like Babs is faster. Run, Babs. Get the fuck out of there. Sanai? Oh my god, the alpaca found us too. Babs, you can attack this fucking thing. Sanai, attack this fucking thing. Fuck, 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 fuck. Babs, are you attacking? Sanai, are you attacking? Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. That's too bad. Honestly, that really is too bad. What is this? He's got some drugs. Honestly, I really did want to recruit him. Babs, how are you? Oh my god. Severe pain. She- Oh my god. Everybody undraft. Allow. Sanai. Paul. You. Help her. Oh my god. Babs is at major break risk. Martin, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, okay, attend to Babs. Martin, you kind of suck right now, honestly. Martin, you're getting on my nerves today. <laughs> honestly. You won't cook, you won't clean, you won't tend to your imaginary waifu. You killed the guy that we wanted to capture. Doesn't give a fuck. Babs's eye is like popping out of her head. How is Sanai at doctoring even? She has cataracts in her both of her eyes? No wonder she's so bad at hunting. Um she also is like okay, so she's blind and deaf, and she's just frail. Uh, love that. All good things. Her eye? What is this? Is that a bandage? Yeah. Oh my god. Mm. And now Babs is tending to Sanai. Like, she just doesn't fucking stop. Oh my god. And she's starving. This is really bad. <laughs> Martin's eating all of our food and doing nothing. What else are you- what are you butchering? Oh, the turkey from before. I mean, okay. She's not that bad. She's bruised. That's like, fine. I think maybe this is just Sanai's episode. Despite being both blind and deaf, a true Helen Keller, I think that Sanai has done well. I cannot have you rest, unfortunately. No recreation, sleepy, everything fucking sucks. Um, 
So these rooms are ready. Uh, ready to be slept in. So I think I want to do that. We got to get these chunks out of here. Meaning, order, hall. Get out of here. These beds we can move to right here. Major break from who? Babs? Yeah, because it's just so noisy in there, but like we're trying our best. Let's check the beauty stats. Terrible. Not the most terrible ever, but really fucking bad. It's really bad. So bad. Okay. We cannot let Babs go on a mental breakdown. Say it with me. We cannot let Babs go on a mental breakdown. No, okay, day, uh, Babs is in a daze. Babs is wandering around in a psychotic state. This happened because of a poor mood and the final straw was she was ravenously hungry. Bitch, please. Please just go and eat. I don't think she should hurt anybody. Go and please. Eat. Babs, I really think that you should go to sleep. Dude, she's so hungry. Please eat. Please do not starve. Where is Babs? Old woman running around in the night. Not sure who she is. Oh, sweet Babs. Someone watch her. When are these potatoes ready? Okay, soon. Soon. Is there something that we can use for, like, target practice? So they can, like, passively increase their fighting skills? We could add a tool cabinet in our workroom, too, if we wanted to increase its stats. This is saying a tool cabinet increases work speed when placed near a workbench. One workbench can use up to two tool cabinets. Babby. Please stop psychotically wandering. I'm sorry. Babs is sort of healing, even when she is wandering psychotically. Really needs food, really needs sleep, really needs recreation. Please come to again. And please stay away from the bear. Babs is up. After sleeping for a little bit. Still psychotically wandering, but it's interesting that she went back to her assigned bed, even when she was psychotic. It's like she's still smart, even when she's absolutely batshit crazy. Maybe we should lock her in a room. Would that be terrible? I don't think it would be. She's just staring at a wall, but like that's not that bad. Don't we all stare at a wall sometimes? And just think nothing? Look, she's eating! She's fine! This is nothing that a sane person wouldn't do. Okay, so this is gonna take a minute to for them to actually build, but I think this will increase Martin's construction skill because it's like petty little stuff. We're gonna change this into our prisoner bed. We also are going to have to have a medical room and that is very clean. For that, we do need a lot of silver. It's used as a currency, but it's also used as like a sterile material. So when we get enough silver, money, whatever, etc., we are going to want to create silver floors, which are like more hygienic and will prevent our colonists from getting diseases through transported through food when they're in cooking areas or when they're in a medical bed. But I think we're in a decent place right now. What is Sanai doing? 
I think horseshoe's good. She needs recreation. She doesn't like the dark. Hmm. I've been in the dark for a while. I don't like it. I'm sorry. Our first quest. Quest active. Collection of fortune. It's a two star quest. It says, we've intercepted messages about a collection of valuable items worth $575, not far from Spikedale. The collection consists of a limestone large sculpture, which is a masterwork, and it seems there may be an unknown threat. The two stars is a little concerning. That puts it onto hard difficulty. Let's see how far it is. Oh, this is us. So we'd have to go all the way there. You know what? I'd actually be kind of interesting in seeing- Oh wait, they're hostile. Why is it green then? Anyone we're on good terms with. Because I don't think I've ever actually visited a neighboring colony. But that could be kind of cool. Like if we went through here. Is this a road? Yeah. Like what if we went through there? And then- Oh, the color is just like- the, f the different factions. Okay, I understand. I would like to be friends with some of these guys. Flint and Rakaiba Cactus. I don't think we're gonna go for it. Art is important. I say that as an artist, but not important enough to put my three little guys, one Helen Keller, one Psychotic Babs, and one Fat Martin at risk. Okay, I care about these people. Babs is no longer wandering in a psychotic state. They're saying hi to each other once again. Oh, perfect. Okay, so a sun lamp would fit perfectly inside this little area. I think after we get enough food from our potato harvest, I think I'll want us to start getting to work on getting this area ready for winter farming. Solar flare. The intense radiation will shut down all electrical devices. It should pass in about a day. Depressing. Fuck. I really hope that uh, my little guys don't go insane again. We can still work on doing things like cutting stone. Now I do feel kind of foolish for um, deconstructing our fuel stove because we won't be able to cook meals. Fuck it, we're rebuilding it. <laughs> we also have visitors from Eastern Dinwai. It looks like they are. Oh my God, steroid is cool as fuck. He's so sick looking, I love steroid. They do have items for trade. I really like this unwaveringly loyal trait. I'm really not sure when that came about, but I think it's really cool. I believe Martin is our talkie guy. So let's actually do that. Okay, we want to sell. They'll buy medicine and components. They have a cloth toque and a reinforced barrel that they could sell us. It's kind of too bad that we have nothing to offer them right now. So, and we don't want any of their crap either. Even though steroid looks cool as fuck. I'll always remember you, steroid. So they're bringing their meals in to eat. We really need a bigger table for this, but thankfully the solar flare is ending so we look like we have our shit together, even though we might not actually. A gift from Eastern Dinway. And they gave us a wooden war mask. Crazy. Who do we want to wear it? I feel like Babs should wear it. I think Babs has earned it. Holy shit. Babs, you look badass as fuck. It kind of looks like you just have a bag over your head, but really I know that it means you're the alpha. I think everybody understands that too. It increases her pain shock threshold. 
and it covers her face too so maybe all the like ugly scarring that she got from the last attack will be hidden and she'll be more mysterious and a little bit sexier that way too This is set to 21 degrees Celsius. So I think in this room, in addition to like plants and art, we're also gonna put the heaters and the vents will carry that heat over here as well. Martin is cloud watching, get your fucking lazy ass over. Okay, Sanai is actually our crafter as well, but I think Martin, he can, he can make some bricks, it's fine. Sanai, I think it's really important that you keep on planting also our cotton is ready once we get this wall these walls up then i'm gonna deconstruct the center and make some like wood pillars instead i believe i don't know how much they support okay so she did find time to plant some more rice that's good our hay grass still needs some time i think this like kind of rockier soil here makes it grow slower or no this shit right here this isn't rocky, this is normal, this is rocky. Stony, yeah. Wow. Maybe a limestone floor dining room would be cute. Now we have 250 fucking blocks of it. What is this? Broken down? What happened? Why'd it break? That's so random. Did anything happen to it? Did I miss it? Repair botched? Okay, I mean, there we go. Let's get our heating system going. Alright, new quest. Ship to the stars. A friendly AI from your past named Charlene Whitestone has sent you a message. He reveals that he has a starship hidden on this planet and sends you its world coordinates. The starship is in deep hibernation mode. You'll have to start it up when you arrive. Then defend it from raiders trying to steal it until the startup sequence completes. It will be a long, difficult series of battles. If you can get the ship off the ground, Charlene Whitestone will take you off this rim world to the stars. And the reward for this quest is passage off world. It is a, of course, ultimate difficulty quest. This is actually like the main quest, so we really just got to the main quest now. Everything that we've done up to this point has essentially been like somewhat of a tutorial mode. Let me know if you hear that screaming. <laughs> and let's see where this landed ship is anyway. It's down south. Wow. All right. <laughs> uh, This is cute. Oh, so nice planting flowers, as she should be. Martin is working in the dark. Oh, everyone's working together. Maybe we should try hunting some of these deer. We can get Martin to do it, since he's kind of a better shot. Oh, instant kill. Nice job, Martin. God, I have it. Yes. Oh my fucking god. Is he, is he fighting us? Oh my god. Martin, you're a star. Please. Avenge yourself. This is how you can do it. Martin, you can do it. Yes. Fuck yeah. Very good job. Martin, your new favorite. I forgive you for everything. Hate to see it. Why isn't this one moving? Blocked by oak tree. Fuck you, oak tree. Sanai, do this now. There we go. So, Martin actually has kind of a better relationship with Sanai now. So they had a deep talk. Sanai really likes Martin, but he's not as interested in her. 
Yeah, Babs and Martin kind of falling out. I think that uh, that doctoring situation in the beginning of this episode was kind of like the final straw for Babs. When Martin totally just like neglected any care of her, I think that that really took a toll on their relationship. Because he's lazy. <laughs> What the fuck was that? Alright, so we got a little fire somewhat near our base. Shouldn't be a super huge problem, but I am going to have everybody firefight real fucking quick. Because I wouldn't like any of our map to get burnt up. Okay, easy peasy. Oh my god, it's scary. No! Where's Martin? Where is Martin? Get rid of this. Why has it gotta be a dry thunderstorm? Oh my god. This is like nightmare episode to be honest. I just really need to make sure none of my shit's on fire. I worked hard. Boomalope self-tamed. Brother, we don't want you. A third quest? A third quest. We're getting a whole lot right now. Shack of goodies. Oh my god, and it actually does give us a skill trainer for shooting, which is valued at $750. We've intercepted messages about a collected a collection of valuable items worth seven hundred fifty dollars, not far from Spikedale. The collection consists of a skill trainer, and this is only one star. We might have to do that. They're right next to each other. That's awful tempting. We did just mention how we how we would like some target practice. In the next part, I think that we're gonna get a caravan going together. We're gonna get that skill trainer. We're gonna train our guys up. We're gonna win. We're also going to get that masterpiece of art. Don't forget about it. Because they're right next to each other, so why wouldn't I? So I wasn't able to totally finish everything I wanted to for our base today, but I think that we did get pretty far. We have a bunch of cloth now. Rick's in the process of being made. So many limestone tiles which we can use for art hopefully in the future later. We have things growing. We do still have to worry about food because even though we butchered all of those antelopes we turned them into 17 meals which isn't really that much considering how often our little guys eat but we do have something nice going for us right now. I think that there is potential for a really strong base in the future. Stay tuned to watch me form our first caravan and go on our first two quests because now it's only not only just one quest, it's two. See if our Helen Keller Sinai will get any better or worse. Maybe eventually we can add some like bionic parts to her to help her eyesight or her hearing. Let's see if Babs can possibly get any more alpha and if Fat Martin will successfully court Babs or if Sinai will call his heart instead. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next part.